So number four then from the 2012 Advanced Higher Applied Maths Mechanics, little statics question. This little weight here is held in equilibrium by this inextensible string, light, meaning it's got no weight, so we don't have to consider its mass, and a light spring. Again, light, so you don't have to consider its mass in relation to the weight of the object A, that is, which is one kilogram. Right, what does it want to know here? A. Show that the tension in the string AB, well, what are the forces acting in this weight? I'll just put them down here again. There's the force. There's the string creating a tension. There's the weight of the object, which means the tension in the spring must counterbalance the left way's pull of the string, so that must go that way. So that's TAC, that's the weight, and that's the tension AB. And you know an angle, I might as well put the horizontal one in, because you're usually taught it taking the angle to the horizontal, but you could just as easily use the vertical, as long as you get your cosines and sines right. So if that's 60 degrees, that must be a 30 degrees. Right, let's start equating them. Again, horizontally and vertically. Let's take the sum of the... Pfft, Vertical forces. The sum of the vertical forces should come to zero. So that means that what have we got vertically? Well, TAB, the component of that up the way is opposite the 30. That's sine 30. The weight, which is mg, but the mass was just one, so that's just a g. So I'll just put that one times g. It's heading down the way, so that'll be minus g should come to zero. So that gives you then TAB is going to be G over sine 30. Sine 30 is a half, so that means the tension in the string AB must be 2G. And that's all it said. Show it was equal to that rather than give it any numerical value for G. Close the second bit. Calculate the tension in the spring. So there'll be a value for this. What's the tension in the spring? Well, resolving it horizontally now. The sum of the horizontal forces must be zero if it's static, if it's in equilibrium. So that means, now this is going backwards this time, that means negative TAB and its component is next to this 30, so that's cos 30. TAC is going forwards, plus TAC should equal zero. So I can get the tension in the spring AC from this, take that across, it'll be TAB, which is 2G, times the cosine of 30, which is root 3 upon 2. So the tension in the spring must be root 3G. What oh, didn't put Newtons in? Newtons. But I think this time it actually wants a value for that. So root 3 times, well, I'll put the wee note over here, root 3 times, just using 9.8, gives me 16.97 four and so on and in the marking scheme it's giving that as 16.97 with a four significant figures and that was the first three marks i think there was one mark for this part then there was one mark here-ish and then one for the answer now part b for two marks the spring has a modulus of elasticity of 40 newtons and a natural length of 10 centimetres. So immediately I'm going to rewrite that as 0.1 metres. Calculate the distance AC, which is just like saying, what's the stretched length of the spring? And remember, the tension in the spring is the modulus times the extension over its natural length. And you know all these parts apart from that, so that's quite an easy two marks. The tension in the spring was, I'll just keep it in the exact form now, root, just now, root 3g. The modulus was 40 newtons. I don't know the extension, but the natural length was 0 0.1. So that means you can work out by how much this spring has been extended. It'll just be, that's 400, isn't it? So it'll be root 3, well, I might as well put the numbers in now, times 9.8 over 400. And that'll be metres. And pressing the buttons gives me 0 0.0424 blah 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 metres, which means the length AC would be the original length, which is 0 0.1, plus however much I want to put down of that, 
0 0.4, because that'll give me 3 in the answer, which means the length AC is 0 0.142 metres. Now, the first mark was for this formula, rearrange to find the extension, and the second one was just the, for getting the final answer and adding it on. Now, that was quite a simple little five mark question.